Okay, so apparently Inkscape 1.1 on Windows 10 for some just doesn't seem to be a very good experience. I have gotten a couple of replies and a couple of private messages that their Inkscape and Inkstitch in Windows 10 is crashing a lot. Locking up a lot, just closing out. The last one that commented, I decided to have a look. I don't use Windows 10. I use Linux, specifically uh, Manjaro Linux KDE. So I don't know what what's going on with Windows. This is a virtual box of Windows 10. My actual operating system is running underneath it. That's about as far as I'll go to installing Windows 10. So, one fix. Um, when I searched for Inkscape crashing Windows 10, I found a very long subreddit on Reddit that has happened to a lot of people. And the consensus seems to be that installing Inkscape 1.2 development version is a good fix for it. So I'm going to show you how to install Inkscape development version 1.2. This video is going to be a fresh install of Inkscape 1.2 development version along with Inkstitch. So I've already downloaded both of those Inkscape development version and Inkstitch. Both of them appear to be in a zip. Okay, so I uninstalled or I unzipped Inkscape using the underlying Linux host. And then Inkstitch zip Windows will take care of. Go ahead and extract all. I want it to be in that folder. Yes, that works. I'm going to close that back out. So I have both Inkscape and Inkstitch are both unzipped. Go ahead and open that up. So once you get this opened up, there's not really an install. Just go to bin. And then Inkscape. Double click Inkscape. We'll run it. This Inkscape application, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to, where is, ah, create shortcut. Now we have an Inkscape shortcut. I'm going to drag that Inkscape shortcut right there to the desktop. I can actually close that now. Double click it. <clears throat> it will run just like it's been installed. Ta-da. I'm going to uncheck show every time. Go ahead and go to new document. So this is what we're all familiar with. Under edit preferences. Users extensions. I'm going to hit open. Folder is empty. I'm going to go back into this folder. Back to ink stitch. My ink stitch folder. Open that up. Control A will select all. Control C will copy. Go out of that. Back into this. I think I just closed it, but okay. And then just click in here in the white space anywhere. And hit Control V. Control Victor. will paste what you just copied. Once that gets copied, we will open the application back up. Actually, we'll close it and then we'll open it back up. We should have Ink Stitch. And under Extensions, Ink Stitch, Thread Color Management, Install Thread Color Management or Palette for Inkscape. Hit Install. It's been installed. Hit done. Okay, so let's see if it works. I'm going to first go edit 
Now I'm going to go file document properties. Go into what I understand, which is inches. Hit a four by four. Close that out. Zoom in. Let's see what we have for lettering. See that it works. And let's go with something like that. Apply. Boom. And there it is. Shouldn't resize to the degree that I'm resizing, but I'm not going to stitch it out. So I'm just playing. And then we should be able to ink stitch troubleshoot. Keep in mind, this is running in the Inkscape version 1.2. I'm running in a virtual box. I have not crashed yet. Speed it up. No techniques. Yay. Okay. That's actually this when this pops up you can completely ignore it it's just a message that something was deprecated and should be removed it is not an error it is not a crash just hit okay and continue on anyway thanks for watching